Hi, I'm Jacinta, and I lead a new group that started in OBA in October. Um, the focus is funded by a Welcome Fellowship, and the focus of the fellowship is on the one in three people who are not well treated by first-line uh, treatments for depression. Um, but many of these can respond to non-invasive brain stimulation, and the focus of the fellowship is to try and improve that. The strategy is to target stimulation based on impairments in cognitive function, uh, personalize it based on cognitive individuals' patterns of cognitive and brain dysfunction, uh, use that end of phenotyping to uh, predict uh, likely responders, and to enhance stimulation by combining it with cognitive interventions designed to drive positive mood change. And the ultimate goal is to develop enhanced personalized precision treatment. This is our current team. Verena is working on this primary project. Bronman is working on using stimulation to enhance physiotherapy for children with cere cerebral palsy. Uh, Gershon is working on uh, the, the microbiome in the gut in the context of anxiety. And Karen, not pictured, is building a closed loop stimulation device to try and disrupt grand mal seizures and epilepsy. Um, an example of our work, a recent study by uh, Maria Ironside, where we're interested in testing a mechanistic hypothesis about how a single dose of stimulation could disrupt anxious states. Uh, what you can, so we gave people a task in which they had to ignore threatening, task irrelevant distractors. This is hard to do if you're anxious. What you can see in blue is hyperactive response to the amygdala, which is dampened down by stimulation, and underactive um, uh, activity in brain regions that control attention, and these were increased by the stimulation, which is the red bars. And this combination of brain effects was associated with improved behavioral performance on the task. Um, thank you very much.